Hello, I'm Manny, and this is Green and Free. We appreciate your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel if you're new here. Today, we will address the common questions we receive from our viewers, about e-bike or e-trike solar conversion, starting with the cost of solarization. Solarization, involves three main components, with the solar panel being the most visible one. As of my last check, a 150-watt monocrystalline solar panel costs 3,999 Philippine pesos on Lazada. Based on my purchases, two brands that stand out are Sun King Solar and Bosca. However, a solar panel alone, is not enough to charge your batteries. You will also need the MPPT Boost Solar Charge Controller as the second component. The lowest price I found so far, for a 300 watt MPPT Charge Controller on Lazada is 1,335 pesos. This particular device is not only affordable, but also widely trusted globally, with numerous favorable reviews, from both local and foreign customers. The MPPT charge controller works automatically, and does not have an on-off button. It turns on when your vehicle is under the sun, and turns off when you move back indoors or when the batteries are fully charged. It is connected to the solar panel and the batteries through two sets of positive and negative wires. The third component, is your existing battery pack, typically a series of lead-acid batteries, ranging from 24 to 72 volts, as covered by the MPPT charge controller. Solar charging, is beneficial for lead-acid batteries as it maintains a continuous charge. Based on my experience, the batteries do not overcharge with a 150 watt solar panel, and it is unlikely to fully charge a 60 volt battery pack even once a week. However, as long as you ride on sunny days, you'll never run out of charge. Typically, you'll start the day with around 60% charge and end with approximately 30%, depending on usage. You won't go fully charged, but you'll always have power, guaranteed. Additionally, You'll need steel brackets to securely mount the solar panel on the roof of your vehicle since it's a moving vehicle and aluminum brackets may not be reliable. I recommend custom-made steel brackets and a skilled welder, which could cost around 2,000 pesos. Wires and connectors can be purchased from hardware stores or auto supply shops for approximately 500 pesos. So there you have it. If you think converting your e-bike or e-trike into solar charging is practical and affordable, the decision is yours to make. A solar-powered vehicle can eliminate the need to plug into an AC outlet throughout the day, from sunrise to sundown, which makes it a compelling scenario to consider. Thanks for watching Green and Free.